Today on Exploring Limitations, we are going to take this ATAC 2340 reel to reel and explain how to use it as a tape echo in a mix. Here we go. Before we talk specifically how to hook this machine up to make it into a tape echo, we gotta ask ourselves, what is tape echo? Well, it's not just a little setting on one of your uh, one of your guitar pedals there. It actually comes from something, uh, from one of these, or go back even farther. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and get her started, and uh, and then we'll see. We'll talk about it. Hear that? So it's literally it's just like it sounds. It sounds like an echo, but you only hear it once, right? Uh, what's going on here, this, this is called the take-up reel, and right here, this tape wound here is passing through, th and it's going over three heads. Uh, I'm probably going to do some B-roll right now and show you up close. So you've got three heads. You've got an erase head, you've got a record head, and a playback head. And as you can see, the, dif the distance between the record head and the playback head is some some distance so what you're hearing is me playing the guitar and then you're hearing the distance it takes to get from the record head to the playhead that's literally what tape echo is uh, now let's get into the nitty-gritty of what's going on here how am I using this reel-to-reel -reel as an echo sound? Well, let me show you how it's hooked up, how it's wired. So basically what you're, go what you're hearing is you're hearing the clean guitar signal first. That's because I'm going straight in. And then that signal is being sent to the tape machine. And then because of that delay from the record head to the playback head, you're hearing it slightly later. Now, you must... In the early days, you, you must be wondering, like, oh, how did they monitor and how did they... Well, they weren't monitoring on the tape machine. And, but also, this machine does happen to have a, uh, what they called a simul-sync head. Like, you can flip a switch and then disable the third head and have it uh, record and playback from the second head, which, for recording purposes back in the day, is a wonderful feature for us uh, in the... 21st century we don't ever really need I don't really care about that because we're having fun with tape loop, uh, tape echo so this is the pure pure echo right there uh, obviously you can do anything you want it's just kind of a quick slap back but before I get ahead of myself Let's uh, also let you know that you, this tape machine has two speeds. So that's the lowest speed. And go faster. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Slap back. I mean, you know, you might be asking yourself, yeah, I can do that with a pedal. Well, here's where it gets fun. Here's where we're going to get fun with this. So right now... You're just hearing the, the original guitar signal and then the signal that's coming off of the tape. What if, since I have this going into the channel, what if I start feeding the tape sound into itself? This is called feedback. And you'll see it on guitar pedals all the time. But this is what it, you're literally doing. Oh, now you're hearing more. go to the faster speed actually check it check it out <laughs> that's fun isn't it here let me do that one more time let me show you what just happened so i'm going to play i'm going to play something and then i'm going to speed up the tape in the middle of uh while it's playing back and you get that fun sound fun now that, this feedback is cranked it's it's on the edge 
happens when we take it even farther. There we go. <laughs> so you can you can you can go to the edge with this. Listen to that signal, that degraded feedback. Cool. <laughs> I didn't want to blast your ears out. Uh, you could, uh, that's, that's pretty fun, the things you can do, just playing with the speed of the tape. This, is, this machine only has two speeds. Um, that's why, that's why things like the Roland Galaxy Tape Echo, one of the reasons it's so expensive, uh, is because it has a lot more heads and it's got variable speed. Uh, the machinery behind it is just so extra, you know, it's, it's so much, uh, same concepts so, though, you know, you're playing off of the, where it's recording and what's playing back and multiple heads and f feeding back into multiple heads. Uh, we're not here to talk about the Roland machine. We're just talking about a simple reel-to-reel -reel tape echo. What else? Now, what's also fun about uh, using this in this manner with, uh, you know, clean signal on one side and, and not clean on the other is I can do things, I can pan. I can pan the echo and the guitar, the clean sound. So here's what that sounds like. Pretty neat, huh? I'm not going to get into all the details, but you can obviously see the creative application of being able to pan the signal itself uh, off of the dry signal. You know, you can just get some very cool, even if it's just slapback. Um, even if it's just slapback. Let's hear what that sounds like, just left and right slapback. <laughs> It's kind of cool when you actually pad things out. What else? What else? The other advantage of sending the signal from this into its own separate channel is I can EQ the sound of the tape. Look at this. Here we go. Let's see. Let's let's get rid of those lows. Let's crank these highs. Hear that? Hear that? And of course, you can always change the speed. So that's with the EQ, the lows taken out a lot. Again, this is just clean guitar. This is just the sound of a guitar and a tape machine. Now let's EQ the lows up and see what that sounds like. It's kind of a weird vibey. Ooh, ooh, no good. <laughs> I don't think people normally EQ the highs out. Most, most of the time, most of the time the effect is to, to degrade, take the lows out. That's a more familiar tape echo sound. This is all very cool. 
what else? You can also use this on other things like your voice. Duh. I mean, I might as well. I'm hooked up to the machine already. Check it. Slap. Back. Check it. Slap. Back. Check it. Slap. Back. Check it. Slap. Back. And then the John Lennon sound. Usually, really quick, quick slap back. Here come old flat top, he come grooving up slowly. He got monkey eyeballs, he got something else. And he says, son and one, one is three. I got to be good looking cause he's so hard to see. That's, uh, you know, that's John, the John Lennon impression. It's that simple. It's really that simple. Real or real as a real tape echo. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick little demonstration. Uh, obviously, there's so much more to explore with this particular sound uh, in, in a mix. You can use this in a modern mix. I'm On this channel, I'm kind of rocking the uh, Tascam, so it takes up a whole channel, which uh, can be tough to give up. But sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes you got to commit to an idea. Um, and yes, again, thank you all so much for watching, for engaging. If you have any questions about the Tascam, sorry, the T, well, the Tascam Porta 2 or the TAC A2340, uh, shoot them, shoot me a message or just write a public comment publicly on the bathroom wall of this YouTube page. Uh, with that, as always, thank you so much. Uh, peace and be good to each other. Ciao. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a cassette. Oh my goodness, it is a made on tape cassette. If you haven't picked one up, head over to Bandcamp. Uh, yeah, wow, it's cassette with music on it. With made on tapes music. Isn't it cute? Whoop, making noise. Look at it. Look at it. Don't you want one? Don't you want one, yeah.